di Sultan Kudarat State University. Formerly known as Sultan Kudarat Polytechnic State College was established in 1990 with the Virtual Republic Act 6973, otherwise known as the SKPSA Charter, whom Dr. Nelson T. Binag was the first president. With the installation of the new president, Dr. Teresetta L. Campbell, on January 18, 2010, by virtue of Republic Act No. 9966, SKPSC was converted to Sultan Kudarat State University. Sultan Kudarat State University is guided with the current administration's core values under the leadership of the University President Dr. Rolando F. Chenoba. These are fairness, accountability, transparency, excellence, and service to God and people. The program is in motion with the fourfold functions, namely the instruction, research, extension, and production that allow the university to explore, upgrade, extend, and expand its services throughout the stakeholders and beneficiaries in the region. College and Computer Studies offer three degree programs and one associate program, which are Bachelor of Science in Information Technology or the BSIT, Bachelor of Science in Information System or the BSIS, Bachelor of Science in Computer Science or the BSCS, and the Associate in Computer Technology under the Night Class program. The Graduate Studies also offers Masters in Information Technology under the supervision of the college. BSIT is a ladderized program and the students are required to graduate in their two-year program. A part of this is the assessment for the NC2 in Computer System Servicing. They are also encouraged to take the Microsoft and PhilNet examinations facilitated by the PSI Region 12. Furthermore, the College of Computer Studies is now an assessment center after complying all the requirements set by the Technical Education and Skills Development Authority or TESDA. For Computer System Servicing or CSSNC2, the students don't need to go to other centers for their assessment. Because of the higher demands of modernization, the university felt the need to re-engineer the old curriculum into an outcomes-based education curriculum to address the challenges of the ASEAN integration. Thus, the program had been through a series of revisions. On June 14, 2013, the revised curriculum for the Bachelor of Science in Information Technology was approved through Board Resolution No. 13, Series of 2013 including the offering of the two new programs, the Bachelor of Science in Computer Science and the Bachelor of Science in Information System. All the required subjects for the said program were checked and endorsed by the chat, after which it was presented to the administrators, faculty and staff, students, parents, alumni, linkages and other stakeholders. Then, through the Campus Academic Council, and to the University Academic Council for the refinement and endorsement before the approval of the Board of Regents. After the step-up evaluation of the Regional Quality Assessment Team or RCOT and the Commission on Higher Education or CHED Supervisors in Region 12, the Bachelor of Science in Information Technology or the BSIT was granted of the Certificate of Program Compliance or COPC. Along with the Bachelor of Science in Computer Science or the BSCS and the Bachelor of Science in Information Systems or BSIS. Along with the implementation of the revised curriculum, new facilities were acquired. The facilities are up to date provided with five state-of-the-art and fully air-conditioned computer laboratories which are also equipped with 70 inches LED monitors. There are also enough LCD projectors that can be utilized for lectures conducted in the classroom. All in all, 180 computer units are being utilized by the students for the hands-on activities, not including the e-library, 
where students are free to use the 30 computer units connected to internet for research. Currently, the academic building for the College of Computer Studies Phase 1 is under construction amounting to 9.08 million pesos and for this year, another 7.5 million pesos budget will be allocated for the Phase 2. To stabilize the implementation of the outcome-based education curriculum, the outcomes-based teaching strategies are introduced to the faculties. The instructors are enhanced through various trainings, seminars, and workshops, and other educational involvements. The college initiated seminars for faculty regarding the formulation of the outcomes-based education syllabi, table of specifications, and test constructions. Further, through the active leadership of the Vice President for Academic Affairs, Dr. Jesusa D. Orcoste, the Office of the Academic Affairs facilitated the following seminars where the IT faculty members are also involved. The instructors are oriented to assess, administer, and facilitate the learners using the following teaching strategies. Case method, discussion, tandem teaching, peer teaching, symposia, seminars, professional lectures, cooperative learning, computer-assisted learning or CAL, group performance, student feedbacking, picture presentation, per work, Activity on the defined premises and conclusions. Board work, problem analysis, role playing, group reporting, and film viewing. The participation and membership of both students in the faculty to voice conferences, such as in the Philippine Society of Information Technology Students or PSITS, and Philippine Society of Information Technology Educators or PSITS enable them to apply their knowledge by exposing and immersing themselves with other institutions. Graduating students are deployed to various IT industries and other establishments for their on-the-job training. Each on-the-job training is mandated to finish 486 hours of training. This training is conducted to experience the actual work environment of information technology. The university also conducted a tracer study to assess the alumni of the Bachelor of Science in Information Technology, the graphical data of the number of graduates with master's degree. Among the respondents, they are 19 or 7.03% from the Bachelor of Science in Information Technology program or BSIT who are master's degree holder. The graphical data from the four programs who took up additional degree studies or training programs. Among the respondents, 29 or 5.57% who took up additional degree studies or training programs. The graphical data of the place or area of work of the graduates. Among the 424 respondents, 395 or 93% of them are working here in the Philippines, while 29 or 6.84% of them are currently working abroad. Hi everyone, my name is Robin Jigaya, an alumnus of SKSU Sunan Campus under the program of Bachelor of Science in Information Technology. Uh, I graduated in the year 2008 and now I am currently connected at Sunan National High School teaching senior high school students, particularly in Information and Communication Technology students. Um, malaki po ako na itulong sa akin ng program na BSIT kasi po nung first apply ko lang po sa institution inangailangan ako sila agad ng ICT dahil po nagkukulang ng mga ICT teachers isa rin po sa panahon natin ngayon uh, lahat na po ako ng institution or, a or any government agencies public or private eh, halos computer na po ang, uh, ang ginagamit so that's why uh, ang program talaga ng Sulan Campus, which is BSIT, ay talagang akma po sa pangangailangan ng ating susudan na kung saan uh, pwedeng mapunan nito ang mga kapunangan ng mga taong may kakayahan sa informasyon.
Information and Communication Technology. Mula po sa aming batch 2008, marami na rin po sa amin ang employed halos po lahat na kung saan uh, ang iba po ay naging ICT teachers sa iba't ibang klase ng sa iba't ibang klase ng schools kagaya po ng private, public, both college and secondary. Ang iba naman po ay napunta sa mga opisina na kung saan nangangailangan sila ng mga computer literate uh, employees. Kung ipagpapatuloy na SKSU so lang tapos ang programang BSIT, alam ko marami ang mag enroll dahil in demand po ang programang ito sa kasalukuyang panahon at sa hinaharap. Maraming salamat. Good day everyone! I am Ms. Roma Amor Castro Mayor, a graduate of Bachelor of Science in Information Technology last 2012. I am grateful that I am an alumna of this institution since BSIT program really helped in my professional growth in my chosen field of specialization. I am currently connected in this institution as instructor handling major subjects in College of Computer Studies. I believe that this KSU really tried its best in the instruction. The different seminars, workshops, trainings are considered for us to be prepared in the actual work environment of the different industries. We were encouraged by the college to take National Certificate II or the NC II before leaving the university. With this, most of my batchmates are employed to IT establishments. I am very proud that I am a product of this program since BSIT now is submitted for accreditation level 3, phase 2. Through continuous improvements in the IT infrastructures of the college, it helps students and graduates to become globally competitive. To the Sultan Kudarat State University, congratulations and padayon is KSU. Thank you.